anymore, honestly, um, I'm I'm really hesitant to get on a plane. Right. Um, not for any reason other yeah, than yeah, just yeah. like um, outside Chicago, I can yeah. get some pretty good events. Yeah, right. For driving downtown in the morning and yeah, yeah, yeah. being back home at night. So yeah, yeah. yeah. you know. Yeah, it's, it's, you don't have any trust issues with planes. That's what I'm hearing. No, <laughs> I am fly, I am flying on Boeing planes across the yeah. ocean next week, so I'm like, eh, yeah, you know. So. <gasps> hey, everybody! Welcome to another episode of John Has Trust Issues. And today, I am very honored to have Brent Dieterling as our first guest on the show. Welcome, Brent. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. So one of the things that we do here on the show is that we start out with a trust issue. So ah. what is Brent's trust issue? <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you something that I've never mentioned on a podcast before. And in fact, that very, I very rarely comes up. But I worked for SecureWorks mm -hmm. for 19 years. Mm -hmm. It was actually 18 years and four months because <laughs> I actually took off eight months. I left I left SecureWorks right. to day trade crude oil. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I did not get rich. I did not get poor. <laughs> and uh, I'm convinced that I'm convinced I could have I could have done it, but I didn't. Yeah. Right? I, I didn't do it in that yep. time frame. And what I learned, I learned a massive amount about um, myself, I guess you would say. Like, I'm convinced a good day trader needs a therapist. Yep. It, it's, it's that old. <laughs> and I learned that my brain is a dirty, dirty liar. I mean, <laughs> filthy, yep. filthy yep. liar. Totally get it. Like, and it was, I would sit there, I'm like, all right, here are my rules. Here's the trade set up. I was like, it works. It works. And I would sit there and I would go over it. Like, I, I'd write it down. I'd check off every trade. And I'm like, yeah. Yep. And I would do it. And film it would go against me. And then I'd be reviewing it later. And I'm like, what in the heck was I thinking? <laughs> what? So I learned to not trust my own brain. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I learned when not to trust <laughs> my own brain. And like I said, it messes with you. It really, truly messes with you. So I have trust issues against myself. <laughs> wow. I, now, I've always kind of looked around and said things like, am I nut burger? Am I just green and naive? Right, or right. Am I full of it? Ah, I don't know. I might be. I don't think I am, but eh, maybe. So I, I don't trust myself. So Brent, Brent has trust issues with themselves, man. I've heard a lot I, of different oh. trust issues over my time, and that's that's the first one I've heard. 100% <laughs> myself. It's, it's Love me. it. I don't trust me. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, you know, now, now now that you've mentioned it, I think I have to go take some, uh, go do some introspective, man. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> But anyway. take yourself too seriously. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, th thank you, Brent, for joining us. Yeah, so uh, the, the, the topic uh, that we talk about, you or the topics that we usually talk about here on John Has Trust Issues have to do with zero trust, have to do with identity, authorization, you know, those kind of mm -hmm. topics. So, you know, as we chat today, um, I would love to get your input, your opinions on some of those topics. So uh, tell us a little bit about what you do for a living uh yeah 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 i am a i'm a CISO, chief information security officer mm -hmm. for acne we run uh we're a business process outsourcer bpo mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. in practical terms means the bulk of what we do is running big ass call centers mm -hmm. um ar around the world and this is my first CISO gig it's awesome mm -hmm. i love it mm -hmm. a team of 22 mm -hmm. um love every moment of it which right. is partially why i'm a little bit unique i'm not burned mm -hmm. out Yep. I'm joyful. I love what I do. It's great. It's fun. The stress is not a burden. Doesn't yep. mean there is no stress. Yep. Means it's not a burden. Yep. And my satisfaction is through the roof. Yep. Now yep. I am also a little bit unique because I worked for SecureWorks for 19 years. Mm -hmm. I was on the vendor side. Yep. 15 yep. years in ops, four years in sales. Yep. Like I guess that almost. <laughs> right? And uh, and that gives me a very unique perspective. Yep. I've seen thousands of environments over mm -hmm. 20 years. Yep. Uh, I had a ma a lot of network, a lot of people within the industry that I know and have learned from, and that gives me uh, an incredibly unique 
outlook on what is possible, what's mm -hmm. not, what works, yep. what doesn't work, how to think about things, um, all that stuff makes me, uh, gives me a unique perspective. I'm not saying that I'm the end all be all CEO sure. for anything sure. like that, but it gives me a unique perspective. Very few people have the background that I have, yep. which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't mean I'm right, just means I'm. I think about things a little bit differently. And and I I think Brent, you had me at not burned out. <laughs> <laughs> I really love that man. I really 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 love that. <laughs> like this too short. Like come on. Like, I it, you know it's kind of funny. Like not this doesn't happen all the time, but I have definitely been to events full of CISOs, mm -hmm. and you kind of look around the room and you're like, these are forty or fifty miserable yep. human beings. Yep. Like. This is terrible. <laughs> like these people are depressing me. Like I don't want to. No, 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 no. Right. no. We don't do this. And we can get into this yeah. thing where we like try to one up one another, like yep. how bad our lives are. Yep. You know, what's, what's that all about? Like no, 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 no. No. Like I'm, I'm happy. I love it. So, and uh, what I find is that it, I, I tend like I'm attracted to happy people. Sure. And happy people are are attracted to me, right? Sure. It, it's good. Like sure. you're not gonna find me all moping around very yep. often. Yep. It doesn't happen. Yep. So what what would you say are your maybe top two or three things that uh number one, keep you happy and not burned out and sleeping at night, you know, those kind of yeah. things. So um one thing I learned the hard way uh years ago, um I worked in an operations center. Mm -hmm. And before ransomware and all that kind of stuff, if the firewall went down, it was a bad day. Yep. Right. And these things happen. Yep. Right. I mean, people make changes, do whatever. And so people would call and they're having the worst day of their year, if not their career. Yep. And this is before video and all that. So yep. all of a sudden, like you pick up the phone and it's on. Yep. Right. So, and you don't know the, you don't know people, you don't know the level that you're talking to, you don't know how big of a deal this is or it's not. Yep. You don't know any of that. And you've got to navigate that scenario. Yep. And one, it made me a very good incident commander, um, which is a unique skill set. Sure. But beyond that, it made me delineate and segment emotionally. Yep. Um, I am not going to experience stress or anxiety over things that I do not control. Yep. So if I don't control it, I don't feel stressed yep. about it. It yep. doesn't mean that I don't put in time and effort. Sure. It doesn't mean that I don't care. I do. Sure. I vehemently give a damn. Sure. But I'm not, it's not going to ruin my year. Yep. Like some yep. jackass in China is not going to ruin my year. Right. Not right. going to happen. Right. Now I might put a lot of time into IR. Okay, yep. fine. But that's one really, really big thing that I learned years ago, yep. which to me means that it is an acquired skill. Yeah. It is a choice that For a sure. person can develop that. I'm not sure yeah. how exactly other than what I did, yeah, but yeah. It, it is something that can be done. And I think that is a very, very big thing. And the other is to constantly ask and answer if I am uh, living out my values, yep. right? If I'm, if I say, you know, uh, you know, your, your treasure is where your heart is. Or yeah. Your heart is where, what? I, I've heard, I've yeah. heard the, yeah, I've heard the quote. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so, but that applies, that applies to time yep. as well. So where am I putting my time yep. and am I happy with that? Right. And yeah. I evaluate that not on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I kind of sort of evaluate it on a weekly basis, a little yeah. bit, but especially a yearly yep. basis where um, I can tell you, for example, I am leaving tomorrow morning. I'll mm -hmm. be gone Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. Then the following week I'm out for two weeks. I'm going to the Philippines for two weeks. Nice. That's almost three weeks of travel right. for business yep. in three weeks. Yep. That's kind of a lot. Yep. But I have nothing in July. Right. I have no external events in July. Right. Right. So, and I planned this based on when it's compatible and my yep. kids. Like, yep. if I'm going to be out, uh, maybe October might be better than July. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. So I always make sure that I'm uh, living my values. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it sounds like you prioritize, you know, the things that matter in your life, you know, to your yeah. your family, et cetera, your loved ones, right? As opposed yeah. to being worried and staying up all night about what APT29 yeah. is doing to your environment. <laughs> yeah. I did the same thing for, right. for uh, being CISO, though, right? right. I focused right. on significant risk reduction. Yep. It's simple, easy, and cheap. Yep. So I nailed that stuff first and don't worry as much about the other yeah. stuff. Yeah. 
what, what's what's that other that other quote? Something about prevention and you know something being being worth something. I forget the exact quote, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't so prevention is ideal. Detection's a must. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend Eric Cole had that thirty yeah. years ago. Yeah, yeah. It applies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, significant risk reduction is simple, right. easy, and cheap. Right. That's my like. If I if I quote die as right. a CISO, like that's right. that's going to be in my CISO gravestone. Right. Significant risk right. reduction is simple, easy, and cheap. Right. That's my thing. So I, 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 as, as a CISO, you must see a lot of things, right? You know, you must see a lot of things from uh, things that get, you know, bubbled up to you in some kind of incident or, you know, the, the, the world is on fire. Uh, if you can, as much as you can, you know, what, what types of things are you saying today or in the recent past that kind of give you pause, you know, and, and, and maybe uh, worry a little bit? <laughs> for, for me? For yeah, me? No. For, for me, nothing. Yeah. Um, for the industry on the whole. Yeah. For other sure. People, sure. There's yeah. a lot. There's a lot out there, right? <laughs> um, so I have, I, I have to, I had to come up with a way, my own uh, framework, workflow, mm -hmm. what have you, to how do I evaluate risk, yep. right? Um, now I first heard this espoused by Andy Ellis, who I mm -hmm. think just did a talk at RSA recently mm -hmm. about this. Um, that is, he, I think he calls it the pyramid of pain, right? Mm -hmm. But it is essentially, how surprising would this be and how bad would it be? And at the top of that list are things that are plausible and mm -hmm. really, really bad, right. like material, mm -hmm. right? Take care of those first. And guess what? You don't have to analyze that. You don't mm -hmm. have to talk about it. You don't mm -hmm. have to think about it. You say, that's a dumpster fire. Let's put it out. Cool? Right. right. Yeah, go put that out. Right. And then you get to the things that are like, okay, it would kind of be surprising, right? But and it would be pretty bad. Okay, well, those are more important than things like, man, I can't even like. That's three levels of theory down. Right. If there's three levels of theory, let's not worry about it before we worry about the top that top tier stuff. Right. So that's how I approach awesome. things, and that allows me to look at probably two to five things a day right. that I really kind of really think about right. and probably another 50 to 75 things a day that are kind yep. of skip, right? Yep. And it gives me a good idea of saying, do I care? That's awesome. I like yep. that. And and that, that was called the, the, the three, the pyramid of pain. Is that what you call pyramid it? Pain. Yeah. 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 And I like pyramid that. Pain has been you, but Andy Ellis um, mm -hmm. from wild ventures, yep. he just uh, did a target RSA, I think call like you can't measure risk, mm -hmm. which I don't necessarily fully right. subscribe yeah, to, yeah. but that's, that's one of those issues out there that right, I don't right. have a strong opinion on right, yet. Right. I, I have some inclinations, but yeah. we'll see. We'll see. Even, even having myself read, right, or, or at least skimmed, you know, the you know measure measuring everything in cybersecurity or measuring everything in business, right? I have that book right over there. Here's, <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, and I'll be, later this week, I'll be with uh, Kevin Richards of X right. Analytics, right. Uh, which, who I like a whole lot. I think that, uh, I guess I'll just tell you my opinion. Sure. I think Seraphine can be incredibly valuable yep. um, if it is required or desired by your right. organization. Right. If right. you are trying to use it and then push it up, I think that, that is a path fraught with peril. So I don't think it's required for all orgs. Um, but like I buy it. The curious thing that, that from that book uh -huh. that I love is that you don't have to, it doesn't have to be great. It right. doesn't have to be accurate and wonderful right. and awesome. It just has to be better than your gut feel. Right, right. I like that. And yep. I get it, but gut feel has its purpose too. So I, like uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to have a firm opinion on that. Got it. Got okay. it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. As a, uh, so kind of, kind of a little bit of a career question. Uh, and then we'll flip over into, uh, you know, some actual security incident stuff. But um, if uh, if I was a budding CISO, what or or if you were to give yourself, you know, some advice before you became a CISO about becoming a CISO, what would that be? Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> um, uh, so one is the stress. Don't experience stress or anxiety based yeah. on things that you do not control. The other is to be very, very honest with yourself about what type of CISO you are mm -hmm. and what type of CISO your organization or your prospective organization wants. Yep. So, for example, here is something that happens quite a bit. I use healthcare as the example. Mm -hmm. right? Healthcare org suffers a breach. Their CISO leaves, get fired. They don't have it. Whatever. Yep. Okay? 
and they said, man, we need a CISO with 10 years of experience in yeah. a healthcare organization of at least 5,000 employees yep. or 10,000 or whatever it is. And it's like, really? Is that what you need? <laughs> right. Or do you need a post-breach CISO? Right. A builder CISO? Right. Or do you need an executive? Oh, you're going public. Oh, so do yeah. you need an executive CISO? Yeah. Oh, you're small. Do you need an engineer or a technician? Right. Right. Or do you need a GRC or right. like what type of person do you need? Right. And I find that you have to line up what type you are or yep. want to be and what the organization is asking for. And yep. you don't necessarily know that until you ask some questions and figure it out. Because Absolutely. if you have a misalignment, that's going to be a problem. Right. The other critical thing is to me is uh, if I spent 20 years with lead in my title. Yep. I, I I had part of my personal identity was based on my technical acumen, my chops, right? I was I was amongst the best in any given circle as far as my technical acumen. Yep. Um that's what that scratched my personal satisfaction itch, right? As an executive CISO, that's not what my job demands. Yep. There's an opportunity for misalignment. So I set down my identity pride yep. about being a technical person right? right that's not my value that, right. that i do not require that for my personal right. satisfaction right so my professional and personal satisfactions are aligned that i think is very very critical and then i'll also say this if you're a new ciso um a lot of what you hear for being a new ciso yeah. i disagree with yeah so yeah. <laughs> yeah, be, be be willing to go your own way yeah yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, there's how everyone does it and right. i i i don't i don't agree with those and things. then there's the way that brent does it i, lo I love uh, it goes back to your your first comment when we first started talking right which is like not burned out man i'm happy yeah, <laughs> I, love I love it but it also i also own my discuss own yep. my decisions so you know i've i've always done work yep. like i don't care if i get fired and I've had people ask me, especially vendors. I yeah. talk to a ton of vendors. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not doing that because of X, Y, and Z, right? Like, oh, well, what if that doesn't work out? And I'm like, I assume I get fired. Yeah. Like, that's the way it, I'm, I've always done that my entire career. Like, right. I might get fired. If I'm, if I'm making a wrong call, if I'm, if I'm totally wrong, I get fired. Yeah. Yep. And frankly, for some things, I absolutely should. Right. Like, that is completely legit. Like, Right. Brent, we got bit by this, and you never said anything about it. Yeah, yeah. That's what bad looks like. Fire yep. me. Yep. I mean, now I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm pretty <laughs> confident about that. Yep. I do a lot of thinking and talking yep. to a whole lot of other people to make sure that my opinion is is valid. Sure. But you kind of always have to have that in your mind. Like I don't make decisions based on covering my butt. Yep. Like no, I, I do. That. I make decisions based on. Material cyber risk reduction. That. That's it. Materiality yeah. is the end all be all. Love that. And what that means is mm -hmm. another d discussion. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, let, let's get into a little bit of opinion. Uh, now, now that you're freely giving me some opinions, I love that aspect. That's why. That's why you're here on the show, right? Uh, <laughs> what does zero trust mean to you? Uh, I love. I. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I I love I love the concept because yep. some of the pillars of zero trust are I, I could not agree with more sure. right like um, the user is who they say they are I have a hundred percent Yuba keys yep. the machine is who it says it is agree the machine is configured in the way that I want it to be uh, those are three of the five hills that I yep. will absolutely die on as yep. a CISO and those are pillars of the zero trust. Yep. I also didn't buy a zero trust product to yeah. make that happen. So the user is who they say they are. The machine is who is it is. Yep. The machine is configured like, like that's awesome. Yep. That's a great baseline. Did not cost me a ton of time or money or anything yep. else. Now, are all the other things that we associate with zero trust, SASE, yes, to see, mm -hmm. cool? Yes, absolutely. Yep. They're awesome. They're great. Is it, am I looking to it, to a tool to be my savior? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yep. No, not at all. Now it's cool. It's awesome. Um, I can use it to reduce tech debt. I can use it for IT performance kind of stuff. I can use it for um, 
uh, democratizing or making sure that all my controls apply to everyone instead of just this network yep. point. I love all that. Like it's all it's all good. It's all great. Hundred percent. I, I love it. Um, but like it starts with some of the basics, yep. right? And that's kind of my jam. It awesome. is basics. Basics awesome. work. Love it. Love it. So hey, Brent. So you know, talking about you talked a little bit about the healthcare industry earlier. That that's a great segue into yeah. getting your opinion and in talking about opinion, right? Getting your opinion on a couple of the recent healthcare incidents. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I have up here on the screen a uh, browser window for the United Healthcare incident. You know, it's kind of been a yeah. few weeks now at this point, right? And you know, yeah. the the coming out of Oh, you know, this little thing about one third of Americans were affected by this ransomware attack, right? It's so, a little impact. <laughs> so I and and you know, Sension Health is the most recent one, right? Where uh, even uh, ambulances were being stopped and you know, that kind of thing. I'd love to get your opinion as as a CISO, uh, number one, you know, about about the incidents themselves, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 ransomware if we want to go in there, but you know, more so than anything for the viewers to get you know, what your opinions are, how you would, you know, give them advice about preventing that type of thing from happening yeah. in their environment. Sure. So uh, I, I I won't cast stones at things that sure. I may not know. Sure. And that said, significant risk reduction really is simple, easy, and cheap. Or yep. the basics work really, really well. Um, I have five hills that I mm -hmm. would absolutely die on yep. in, for me at my current work. Right. Yep. One of those is 100% coverage of strong MFA. Mm -hmm. For me, that means UVEs. Yep. Two is 100% coverage of EDR. Three is no BYOD. Now, I mean, I allow Outlook on my phone or sure, whatever else. Sure. That's fine. Right. Sure. <laughs> but for, especially for external access. Yep. Plus to change healthcare. Right. right. Um, those are really, really big deals. Right. Now, I also have rapid patching of all external vulner vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. I mean, 24 to 72 hours on the outside, yep. right? Yep. I don't care what it is, done. Right. right. And my fifth one is PAM. It's yep. Privilege Access Management for my elevated permits users. Right. Okay. Right. So I will push all my chips across the table. We right. do those or I walk. Right. Right. And that's not a big right. problem. Right. And you look at if you look at twenty years of reports right. from every IR, the present day breach. I mean, all these people. What did they come back to? Oh, people lose money in twenty twenty four in two yeah. ways, right? Ransomware and BEC or yeah. some variation of BEC. Right. Okay. What are the top three vectors? And they change year to year depending right. on the report. Sure. But it is phishing, stolen credentials. And external vulnerabilities. Yep. Yep. What do my what do my hills address? Yep. Those. So let's start there. Right. Can we start there? Because all of that stuff is simple, easy, and cheap. Right. And simple is technology statement. Cheap is a financial statement. <laughs> easy is the people right. process. Right. That's where people argue. That's right. where people argue. Now let me be clear. Sure. If you ask 100 drivers, are you above average or below average driver? Right. 90 something of them will say that they are above average. Right. Meaning 40 something of them are by definition wrong. Right. Right. If you ask 100 CISOs, 100% strong in fact, 90 of them will say, no, 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 I can't, can't work my organization. Okay. Sure. There are some orgs that are right. legitimately not possible or right. really, really hard. Right. But. Five million members of the U.S. Department of Defense uh -huh. have it. The country of Estonia has it. Yep. Large multinational corporations have it. Yep. <laughs> There's yeah. something there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, so, in other words, <laughs> it is you. not a technology statement. Right. It is right. not a finance statement. Right. It is a people process slash right. leadership right. Um, matter. Sure. And so, and I'm not like. Hey, you may well be at an organization and you're like, dude, I made all those arguments and not getting anywhere. Yep. That may be. I don't know. But if I were in that scenario, I would not say won't work in my org or can't work or not feasible. I would say I've been unable to convince my organization to address this item of material cybersecurity. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. And at the end of the day, I view that as me. Yep. That's extreme ownership. That's accountability. Right. Right. So all of that applied to change. Right. 
maybe someone looked at that yeah. and said, I understand this is a risk. I understand that I understand and I accept it. Yep. I would not want to be that person. <laughs> but right. maybe someone did it. Uh yeah. and we don't we don't know. And there's always concern, especially in healthcare, yeah. that you will increase if you increase friction, you increase mortality. Right. I get that. I am of the belief that you you like I think the old ad- adage like you know, price, performance, security, pick two. Right. I don't really buy that in most guys. I think I think right. you can always almost always get all three. Um, I I love YubiKeys. It's yep. faster. Yep. It's easier. It's cheaper on net. Yep. It's dramatically more secure. But it's not to love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in the no phone environment, even in healthcare yeah, environments, yeah. It, and I don't have every answer, <laughs> but I know that one of the answers is not leaving external remote access without in the fact. Right. That's right. Like, right. Absolutely. I, everyone, I, everyone needs to go find that and kill it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know I know I'm a fan, that's for sure. <laughs> that is for right. sure. Um so um uh, something a little bit different. Um so what's your what's your current uh favorite or what are what bourbon are you drinking these days? Ah, well, so we talked before before sure. recording that I have a bourbon bar in my basement. Sure. I love him weeded bourbons. Okay. Yep. Uh, my favorite weeded bourbon right now is actually from Bardstown Distillery, uh-huh. and it is their Bible and Bond weeded. I like that a mm. lot. And it's generally pretty easy to find. Yeah. It's about yep. 50 bucks a bottle. Yep. I like that. I also, uh, honestly, my go to is kind of a Buffalo Trace, just okay. stock, normal yep. Buffalo Trace. I like it a lot. Yep. But by volume, in my entire adult life, I've drank barrels and barrels of Jack Daniels. So a lot of people <laughs> look th- look down the nose sure. of Jack. Sure. Hey. I like it. That's what, it's you know, what you like. I right? like it. it, it it's <laughs> I get good. It. It's how I kind of grew up drinking. Yeah, I didn't sure, drink sure. It in college, but I get it. I like it. I still keep it on my bar. It's. Hey, it's good. It's that's good. my that's my current go tos. Maybe, maybe maybe a little bit of gentleman Jack on the bar too. <laughs> you know, honestly, I just go straight to uh, single right bar. straight up. Go for it. Just, just straight, got like, it. Oh, man, it's like fifty bucks bottle. Yeah, got it. Go. Got but it. That man, heavy heavy corn. Right. Heavy corn uh, is like saying hello to an old friend. Right. You're like yeah. oh, I know you. Got it. It works out. It works out well. Got it. Um. And then uh, two more questions, I promise. Um, yeah. So the next one is uh, conferences this summer. Are you attending any conferences? Uh, I am going to the Digital Director Network Conference, Domino, mm-hmm. next week in mm-hmm. Chicago. Yep. Uh, I really, even though my company is not a public company, yep. I think that ACC materiality in those yep. discussions uh, will continue to be very important over the That's coming right. decades. Yep. So I am fortunate to have been part of that organization for a long time. Awesome. Really, really like it. Um, I mean, I, man, I could go to so many sure. dinners, events, and all that. Yeah. So I have to sure. choose uh, a lot. I try to not do a lot of that during the summer because mm-hmm. my boys are off school, mm-hmm. obviously. So yep. hang out with them a little bit more during the summer, and then I'll do more stuff. But anymore, honestly, uh, I'm I'm really hesitant to get on a plane right. um not for any reason other yeah, than yeah, just yeah. like um outside chicago i can yeah. get some pretty good events yeah, right for driving downtown in the morning and yeah, yeah, being yeah. back home at night so yeah yeah, yeah. you know yeah, it's, it's, you don't have any trust issues with planes that's what i'm hearing no <laughs> <laughs> i am fly, i am flying on boeing planes across the yeah. ocean next week so i'm like eh, you know so yeah i, 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 I went to the uh, actually so it's, it's, funny, it's funny you mentioned that because i went to the gartner identity conference in london earlier this year and oh, it was yeah. on a boeing so it was 10 and a half hours SFO to London and yeah, yeah. I was on a Boeing. It was fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm flying, I'm flying to the Philippines on, on a series. It's not even like a direct flight to like right. Chicago to Manila. No, right. I go to like Chicago, LAX, LAX, sure. Tokyo, Tokyo. Like I'm over water, like yeah. a bunch of hours on three different. So yeah, yeah. It, it, I get three chances. Right? right. Right. I'm not, I'm actually not worried. Um, I would, I, I enjoy, um, I, I've always heard a lot of good stuff about uh-huh. B-sides. Uh-huh. I'm not being, I was invited to come speak mm-hmm. uh, at the one in Minneapolis. Yep. I'm not able to because it's my son's birthday. And yep. I'm like, hey, no, 
Um, totally. But uh, I've heard great things about that. Um, I wouldn't mind going to um, C Vision has one that I like. Mm -hmm. Ivanta has a national conference that, mm -hmm. that I like. Um, I might go down to Dallas for a CISO exchange, CISO mm -hmm. XE, X yep. year. Yep. Um, I was there a couple of years ago. They have, Dallas has a fantastic community. Yep. Um, yep. So does Chicago, for that awesome. matter. So. Yeah, no, she, yeah, Chicago's got a lot of cool stuff. I, I really like Chicago a lot. Yeah. Um, any So any any parting words, Brent, to our audience? Uh, no, not, not specifically. Okay. I mean, just... Cool. It, like, enjoy what you do. And if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. Find it out. I mean, you might have to. I get it. But like <laughs> at, at some point at some point in your career, you kind of have right. to say, like, okay, like over the next 12 month timeline, right. I'm not required to stay here right. if I'm not happy. Right. Do whatever. Right. right. It, Love it. It can it can work out. Love it. Yeah. And that, that that's a great message. Uh, if you don't join, if you don't jo enjoy what you do, then stop doing it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, totally. Awesome. Well, thank you, everybody. That was uh, another episode of John Has Trust Issues. Brent, I ap really appreciate you being on the show with us today. Thank you very much yeah. from the awesome. team here thank at Strong DM. Much. Appreciate it. Uh, awesome. Thank you, thank you, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 get the episode up, and uh, we'll definitely tag you on it. Uh, and uh, that's it. That's a wrap. And uh, this episode was brought to you by Strong DM, the zero trust privileged access management platform for all of your critical infrastructure. Thank you very much. Whoa! How did I get into this little box here? John Martinez, your security barista here. Hope you enjoyed this episode of John Has Trust Issues. Make sure you like and you subscribe to the Strong DM channel to get more relevant content like interviews, like more John Has Trust Issues episodes, like product walkthroughs for Strong DM, etc. And you can see all that by subscribing and liking our content. Thank you very much. <laughs>